read the first portion of the third chapter of Second Peter, uh, from maybe from uh, Micah. I guess you can read from the first verse through the ninth verse. And be, brother Bagley, I'll let you start the reading. Well, I'll let Micah read from the first to the tenth verse. And Brother Bagley, you read uh, starting at the 11th verse. I want all of you to get your Bible. All that I don't say, you can read for yourself. Amen. My mother said, I got a Bible to read. And if I don't read and my soul be lost, there's nobody fault but mine. Amen. I want to tell you what I want to really talk about this morning. I want you to repeat. Where does the church go from here? Where does the church go from here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's repeat it. Where does the church? Where does the church go from here? Go from here. Amen. That's a great question. If you let it be embedded in the heart of your mind, yes, yes, sir. we're living in a troubled world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, Michael, you may again read. And everyone that had your Bibles, I want you to look at Second Peter, the third chapter. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. All right, now, first of all, I want you all to know who's speaking. This is Peter. Yeah. One of the chosen twelve. Uh, he was in the inner circle. And uh, Jesus named him uh, Peter, Petra, the rock. Amen. Because Peter became the uh, strong. And he was the spokesman for the inner circle. Uh, amen. He promised Jesus and Lord, I'll go with you all the way. I'll die with you. So Peter had been directly trained by Jesus. Yes, sir. Amen. To do what he was doing while he was on earth. Yes. Now Peter is reminding us yeah. uh, what uh, had been spoken of by the prophet and by the apostle himself. We want to remind us that this, these deeds were not done in vain. Right. But it was a purpose for what the prophet had spoken of and what uh, the disciples had said. That these things must come to pass. Read on, Micah. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lust. Now, now, people are making fun of the church today. How many of y'all know that? Mm -hmm. They're making fun of the church because they say the church is not doing what it's supposed to do, what God called the church to do. Jesus said, upon this rock, yes. I'll be a my, not Monroe church, yeah, yes, I'll yes. be a my church, and the what? Gates of hell. Shall not? not Amen. He meant that. No matter not what will come against the church, it will not prevail. And we have a whole lot of things coming against the church today. Yep. But where does the real church go from here? Yep. I'm not talking about A church. There's a difference in between A church and B church. Yep. Yep. A church, you got a whole lot of A church. The church is all around. But there isn't but one B church. There's yep. one, but one church in the yep. church. Saving Jesus Christ. Yep. Amen. And you cannot join B church. Yep. You can join a church, but you cannot join the church. Yeah. Only way, only way, you know, only way you can become a part of the church, you have to be born into it. Yeah. And Jesus told Nicodemus, when Nicodemus came to Jesus by night, and said, Master, we know that thou art a teacher that come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus said, wait a minute, Nicodemus, you're trying, you're trying to be smart now. You try to lead me where you want me to go. But marvel not, I say unto you, you must be. You got to be. We have a whole lot of people in a church, but they have not yet been born again. But because when you become born again, you become what? A new creature. Paul said, if any man be in, in Christ, he is what? And behold, not just some. But all the how many of y'all have been made brand new on the inside? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, I know you look good on the outside, but what about the inside? Yeah. Had that been a great change wrought on the inside? Yeah. It make you think different. Yeah. Make you look different. Yeah. Make you talk different. Yeah. Make you walk different. Yeah. That's when you've been changed yeah. down on the inside. 
Jesus don't even mom now that said to you must be. You got to be born again. Just like many of you, Nicodemus said, Lord, how can these things be? When a man is old, can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born again? Wait, 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 Nicodemus, you think about the earthly thing. You, you think about fleshly thing. But I say unto you, he that must be born of the spirit in other walk. Yes, Nicodemus said, wait a minute, Lord. I don't understand that. Jesus, Nicodemus, don't tell me. You are a master, a teacher of Israel. And don't know these things. Is it because you've been to school? It doesn't mean you know the law. In order to know him, you got to walk with him. You got to talk with him. And then invite verse and let him talk to you. Yes, Nicodemus said, Jesus said, Nicodemus, you must be. You got to be. Born again. Unless a man is born again, he cannot even see the kingdom of God. Don't think about entering into. Because you won't even be able to see. Amen. If you're not born again, don't think about entering into. You won't even be able to get a, a glimpse. You won't be able to even see it unless you're born again. You got to be born from the inside. It'll manifest itself on the outside. The manifestation comes on the outside. What's happening on the inside, it manifests itself on the outside. That's why Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A city that sits on the hill. And can, can, can I know y'all still stand. Keep on standing. I'm standing. I'm 83 years old. Keep on standing. Stand for Jesus. Yeah. Is all right? How many of y'all know he's all right? Read on, brother. <laughs> and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things... Now listen, now listen. That's what the world is saying to... to, to to the hypocrites that go to a church. Yeah. Bunch of hypocrites. They can't, you can't beat them singing. Right. Can't beat them praying. Right. Can't beat them preaching. Yeah. You can't beat them doing anything. Yeah. A hypocrite pretend yeah. that he is what he's not. Yeah. There are two kind of people that Jesus didn't, didn't fool around with. Yes. Yes. Who are they? A liar and a hypocrite. A hypocrite says, Lord, I'm with you. He ain't no good way he's not with you. Lie, you don't believe nothing he said. Because he's a liar. He does not tell one lie, he's a liar. He keeps on lying. My dad said, boy, tell the truth the first time. You don't have to say nothing else. You don't have to try to cover it up. Because if you lie one time, you're going to have to keep on lying. To cover up the lie that you told the first time. But tell the truth. The naked truth don't need no covering up. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. And he all right. How many of y'all know he's all right? Amen. Have you been born again? Amen. The young preacher said, now don't fool me now. Yes. Have you been born on the inside? Yes. And it manifests itself on the outside. Yes. When you walk, yes. people will see it in your walk. Yes. And they'll hear yes. in your talk. Yes. They'll see it in your look. Yes. Ain't he all right? Yes. Can you see Jesus yes. in your walking? Yes. You don't have to say anything. Yes. Just walk. Just walk. I remember when John the Baptist baptized Jesus. And when he walked up from Jordan, John said, Behold, the Lamb of God would take it away, the sins of the world. You know what happened? Yeah, the Bible said two of John's disciples heard John speak about Jesus. And they looked at him walking. They said, We believe we'll follow Jesus. It's all right if you talk about him. Somebody want to follow him. But nobody talking about Jesus. They talking about Dr. So-and-so. How smart Dr. So-and-so is. But you ought to talk about Dr. Jesus. Yeah. Read on, Michael. Yes, sir. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were. Now, now, listen. (laughs) 
since the father fell asleep, it was prophesied. Jesus said that he'd come back again. And, and that, uh, and, 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 and the early Christian and those that were living that day, they were looking after Jesus had risen from the dead and had ascended back into heaven. They were looking for him to immediately return. Uh, but he hadn't returned. So they waited so many years, waiting for the return of Jesus, and had not seen, so they thought they were lying. And, and they began to make mockery. Of and, and they said, since the what, the father? Since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the they beginning They said, now we don't creation. see no change. They said, we don't see no change. Since the father falls asleep, things keep on going. Like the, but I come to tell you, Jesus is coming back. Yeah, that's up. And when, when he rolled from, 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 from the grave, and went to the Mount Olive with the disciples and gave the charge to the church. And he told them, go ye therefore into all the world and preach my gospel to every living creature, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And lo, I'll be with you always, even what? Yeah. To the end of the world. How many of y'all believe that? Yeah. But that wasn't all. When he got through telling them that, he gave the benediction. And then a cloud descended. And he stepped on a cloud. And the cloud began to ascend. Taking it back to where he came from. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. When he came the first time, he came wrapped up in the likeness of human flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Born of a virgin. Yeah. Called Mary. Yeah. Born in a little town called Bethlehem. Yeah. And, and they, he allowed them to hound him. Yeah. To cradle him. Yeah. But, but he come back, that was the first advent. Yeah. But he come back again, that would be the second advent. And I come to tell you, he's on the way. They, they were looking for him to come back. Amen. Amen. Not too long after he had left him. Yeah. It had been over 2,000 years ago now. Yeah. But I come to tell you, he's still coming back. Yeah. And, and, and the angel, while he was standing on Mount Island, and while he gave the charge to the church, and, and when he got through giving the charge to the church, the Bible says he stepped on the cloud. Yeah. And the cloud began to elevate him. Uh, back to heaven from which it came. And, and, and they were standing on, on my right, gazing into the sky, gazing. Y'all keep on standing. And, and Jesus was lifted up back into the heaven. They were gazing. That means they were looking. They didn't stop gazing. They didn't stop looking until he went out of sight. And while he was, while he was, he was, he was continuing to make his way back in the glory. And they, they forgot about it. They were standing on, on Mount Island. But there were two angels standing there. And said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye here gazing unto the heaven? How many of y'all read that? The same Jesus that you see going away. It coming back what? In the same like man that you see him. How many of y'all believe he's coming back? Well, you got to get ready. It's time now to make preparation. Before Michael go any further, I, I want to read this to you, if I can. I asked you a question a few moments ago. Where does the church go from here? America is changing over the past 40 years. She has been changing Slowly turning her back on God. How many of y'all know that? That America as a whole has been constantly changing. What it, what it stood for back in the day when, when the pilgrim first landed on Plummer Rock. The Bible, I mean, the history say they knelt down and prayed on the seashores in Plummer Rock. They thanked God for the new land. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And then as the founding father continued on, they they, 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 they did a whole lot more things. And, and when the pilgrims formed that first crop and they made a bountiful crop.